Hi, good day. My name is Carlos and once again, I'm here to share you one of my settings in the guitar and in the amplifier. So right now, um, we're going to show you or I'm going to show you the a pedal named Dane Electro or Dan Electro. And I'm going to show you my settings on this amplifier or, or rather than the effects. So just a quick overview. Dane Electro, uh, t technically I don't have any... Um, backgrounds or history known about Dan, Dan Electro uh, the only thing that is notable on this effects is that it has something like a design of something like a vintage like um, appearance so as you can see uh, you would notice that uh, it has a 50s vibe or 60s vibe so right now this is the FX uh, or the pedal uh, called uh, Daddy O so it's like an overdrive and I will show you um, a quick, I think it's quick review or a share or whatever. So um, if you have some time, just uh, please like and subscribe my channel to see some videos uh, for, you know, for future videos. And all right. So on the amp amplifier, the line six, we are aware that uh, on my previous video, I show you my settings. So if you want to know uh, my settings on line six amplifier, you can just look for the reference or the description below or you may just look at my uh, video uh, that has line 6 spider 3 so right now on this Dan Electro FX uh, as you can see what I did is that uh, this is my settings so the volume is middle the bass is middle as well the mid is uh, scoop treble is zero and the overdrive is maximum all right so i'm just going to put some description on the on this video so that you can see and right now let's uh make some demos on how it will sound so i'm just going to open now let's try first the clean button so i'm just gonna get my guitar uh, by the way the guitar that i'm currently using is a samic sg guitar and on the guitar i am more of a treble uh pickup or i don't know if it is a neck or the bridge but on the samic sg guitar it was being labeled as treble so i'm just setting it up so just bear with me gonna i'm just gonna route the chords and there you go all right, so let's start with the clean one. So, all right, so let's just increase the volume quickly. All right, so mood licks. All right, so I'm going to press it now and let's see how it sounds, okay? So red button means that it's already on. So I think it becomes thicker. All right. So the sounds become thicker and something like uh, crunchier than the usual so I think it has a enter crunch so let me just turn it off and let's go to the crunch channel all right let's see so we're just gonna adjust the volumes again so so let's just make uh, a few sound to avoid you know noise for the neighbors and make some licks so pardon me if I am uh, making some mistakes because I'm just noodling around uh, for testing purposes so anyway and then let's press with the crunch so you're hearing some feedback so it's just a Set an expectation this could be much more noisier. Oh. Yeah. 
Alright, so let's see first without the, the, the effects. So let's see if it has. So I just hearing some feedbacks. I don't know uh, if there's some difference, but for me, right now I'm feeling much texture. I think uh, whenever you open this pedal together with the uh, distorted or crunch or metal amps, I think this effect, Dan Electro, will have some additional thickness or texture to the effect. So let's see. I think in the metal. So let's see the metal channel. So. Pardon not my noodling because we're just focusing on the effects. So as you can see, when you press the effects, it seems that there are some feedbacks. Uh, I think um, it gives uh, more thicker on the effects or much more power or raw strength or something like that. It gives some thickness, so I think... Anyway, so as you can see, if I'm doing nothing, you're gonna hear some feedbacks. And if I press it, no feedbacks. So I think uh, it gives some texture and something, but uh, you're gonna hear some feedback, so I guess there must be a certain effect like you know noise gates or something or noise compressor I don't know so let's see for the insane I don't know if it's just the same or what So I think if you just press it, just to keep it simple, you're gonna hear some feedbacks now because of another um, dub, I think, on the sound. So maybe the amp can no longer uh, hold the too much distortion, distortion from the amp itself and distortion for the pedal. So as you can see, it's much more thicker. So I'm just noodling around so no keys no time signatures in the effects well oh just gonna play around just quick because I'm not a f that fan of this effects so for the reverb and so oh you feel eh. I just don't like that much so I just prefer distortion for a room setting you know <laughs> anyway I just prefer it to be zero so in a re uh, oh sorry review or something I think um, this overdrive uh, makes uh, distortion channels or metal channels much more stronger you know uh, I think the drawback I think the word drawback if, I know if it is right but uh, certain feedbacks because it, well it depends maybe the frequencies are too strong enough you know the load of the speaker cannot handle it so it creates noise or maybe there are some noise compressor or noise gates to prevent that noise so that you can fully maximize the effects so however that's only uh, my share setting so uh, just to keep it simple that's my preference and 
anyway, I'm just playing in the room, so I'm not too conscious with the tone. So I'm just sharing to you what are the settings that I have. So anyway, I'm just going to put it in the description. And that's it. So have a great day and uh, hope to see you soon. I'm going to put some link. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm not going to put something. I'm going to put some description on the amp settings and on the day in electro settings. Have a great day.